Hello and welcome back to the Mystical Archive YouTube channel. Been away for a little while, but we're back with another Modern Horizons 2 set box. Let me preface this by saying that this is what I'm calling a uh, dumpster fire box. Um, this set has always been pretty good to me, um, provided some pretty good value. It is a premium product, so it's a little more expensive, but this box in particular, when I was opening it, ooh, this one hurt a little bit. Um, if you could do me a favor though, if you can go ahead and subscribe if you're watching these videos, it really does help. About 70% of people who watch these videos are not subscribed. Um, also leave a like, comment. I like to engage with the community, looking for some ideas on what I can do to revamp the channel, make some different types of content. Um, open to that feedback. But let's go ahead and crack into these packs and see what we can get. Once again, you got to remember this is a premium product. It costs more than your standard release. Um, you get some pretty good stuff in here sometimes, but this time it was it was a little iffy. So, Lonus, really fun commander to run. Sword of Hearth and Home's not a bad card at all. Underworld Cookbook in that retro foil. Timeless Witness, another good card. Piru. Goblin Bombardment is a classic. I'm glad that they leaned in more on the retro frame stuff, um, especially with the more recent sets. I mean, Brothers War, those artifacts and schematics, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I just haven't Verdant Command. I just haven't had the time to keep up with the uh, the product release schedule. Uh, Cauldra Complete. There's just been so many products coming out back to back to back to back. Uh, funny story. I've opened I can't even remember how many boxes. <laughs> tons and tons of boxes of this product. Um, that's the only second Cauldra Complete that I got, and that one's in the uh, the sketch um, showcase frame, which I really love. Some people don't like them. I really enjoy the process of the art of magic. Um, so seeing the prompts or some of the things that uh, the artists get instead of the flavor text to say, hey, this is our concept. Can you create this for us? Pretty cool. Chance Encounter. Scred. First list pull. Nekthos Paragon, Nev's Disc. Uh, Nev's Disc used to be uh, a relatively pricey card. Um, but then obviously that dropped off with reprints, but also it's not really in the meta as much anymore. Um, there's so much better removal. Um, and it's funny because I was going through a bunch of old decks that I was about to decommission and looking at noticing I had a very similar strategy in all of my decks, um, but it's outdated and things are so much faster and different now in Commander that um, got to build a little differently. Moderation. Ugh, not what you want to see in a rare slot. Splicer skill for second list card. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I ran a lot of <laughs> oppressive mechanics. A lot of uh, smokestack, winter orb, icy manipulator combos. Um, things like that that just don't um, either they don't fly with the player base as much anymore um, or they're just outdated I'm cool with land destruction not everybody is but I like that old school magic so that's maybe that's where that comes from Signed art card or stamped art card. Glimpse of Tomorrow. Classic counterspell. 
Got about a thousand of those blacksmith skill. Yeah, I'm really hoping on the horizon they do some more um, good like masters type products. Double Masters 2022 was great. Uh, Diamond Lion, Solitary Confinement. Um, I'd, I'd like to see like an Eternal Masters too with some of those really old classic cards coming back. That was really fun. Maybe another run at Modern Masters. You know, we got Dominaria Remastered coming up. Um, Academy Manufacturer, good card. Murktide Regent, we got our first decent card of the set. Um, even like a, a vintage Masters type thing would be pretty cool that doesn't cost, a, you know, a thousand bucks to get some good old cards that might actually be playable in tournaments. Can't tell I'm salty like everybody else, but getting a reprint on some of those older cards, they don't have to be reserved lists, just some of the ones that haven't been printed in a really long time. That would be really neat to see. Squirrel pack. Dress down. Tide Shaper. That indestructible artifact land cycle in here was good too. And a necrotic sliver. Um, they've been doing a lot with the cheaper end of the mana base with your commons and things like that that, that really do help um, in place of, you know, fast mana just to balance things out a bit. I mean, Dominaria had the uh, the tap duels. Brea's Apprentice. Yeah, speaking of those old decks I was decommissioning, I played with one yesterday. It was a Hapatra Vizier of Poisons, a really cool deck. I call it my Flying Snake Jutsu deck. Just pump out tons and tons of Death Touch Snakes. Eldrazi Monument, give them flying, uh, plus one, send them over the top and just, you know, smash face. Let's get a little Infect in there to speed things up. It's a good time. Guys will. Upheaval, it's a nasty card. Derma Taxi, uh, this is such a funny card. Chef's Kiss. Sterling Grove is another card that was at one time really good. Still good in my Enchantress deck. Just not played in the meta a lot anymore. In, like the old school cards reimagined for new sets. Kitchen Imp's just fun. Shouldn't dock hand me. Worst one of the worst cards you want to see. Man, uh, not too much. Vanguard of Bramaz. Cat Soldier. Okay, list card. The list sometimes is a little frustrating for me too. I see cards that were printed in that same year showing up in the list. 
I, I think that's against really the spirit of the list, but you know, I, I don't work for wizards, so. Magus of the Bridge. Another Rashidden Dock Hand. I love that foil retro frame, and I'm glad that they leaned into to that. So like I said before, just it looks so good. The nostalgia hits. So, you know, we're, we're pretty decent into this box, still scratching for anything that's going to give us anything good. We got another squirrel pack. Merktide Regent is the, the best one that we got so far. Um, so that's saying a lot. It's a good card, but I mean, there, there's some power in these boxes. We're just not finding it today. No fetch land so far. None of the elemental cycle. I want to get my hands on a box of uh, Modern Horizons 1 and crack that open. That'd be a fun time. Chatterfang. Love that card. Another Dermataxi. Vindicate used to be a, a decent card, too. Always Watching from Shadows Over Innistrad. That was a set that I really enjoyed, Shadows and Eldritch Moon. Um, really good time playing that. Really fun to draft, too. Played a lot of that when that came out. Harmonic Prodigy. And a whole lot of nothing. Karth the Lion. And once again, a whole lot of nothing. I mean, you, you always hedge your bets when you're cracking open a box, that's for sure. Brea's Apprentice again. Chainer in the retro frame, and that's cool. Still not a whole lot. Unmarked Grave. And nothing. I'm glad I opened this instead of uh, somebody else paying good money to crack open some of these packs and, and get a whole lot of nothing. That's like our third or fourth Dermataxi in the box. Squirrel Mob. And we're at what, four list cards, so we're not going to be getting too much else. That's something back there. Yeah, chitter spitter. Okay, all right. Merfolk. It's a pretty card. Not a big hit, but take it. And a Sensei Golden Tail. Mmm, that old school Kamigawa stuff. I love that. Absolutely love it. I'm a sucker for anything uh, Asian culture, so. Give me some samurai. I'm happy. Shadow 
Chef's kiss. More nothing. Just keep in mind I'm using uh, TCG market pricing on these cards. There's already a little bit of a skew there compared to you know your average price, but still not not doing too well. Eve, progenitor ooze, shardless agent, knocking over my piles. Kingpin's pet. That uh, return to Ravnica block was a lot of fun too. I enjoyed that one. I'm a Golgari boy all day though. Dock hand. Asmaran for the second time. Dock hand for like the fourth time. We're rounding this one out pretty soon and still not a whole lot to speak of. Archon of Cruelty, so 12 bucks, that's, that's pretty good. Dreadmaw, Nettlesist Foil. It's actually gone up a little bit in price, I think, from the last time I, uh, I was pricing out one of these videos. Harmonic Prodigy again. Terminal Agony. Yeah, so that was it. And <laughs> Less than $45 in value. Dumpster fire. Thank you everybody for watching and we appreciate it.